All right. Uh, today I would like to discuss more about the uh, repatriation of the uh, diasporan community. Uh, somebody asked me um, to share business opportunities that are available in Malawi for uh, the black Americans who want to come to stay in Malawi. And uh, this person asked uh, if somebody has got 7,000 US dollars, can they start a business in Malawi? The answer is actually yes, but um, they, just to start a business from scratch, I think that would not be enough. But if, say, for example, if you are starting from scratch with a skill, when I talk about the skill is like, for instance, if you are, maybe you've got some welding skills, you just want to set up a workshop to start a business, it's possible. Um, if you have got uh, maybe, uh, let's say, mechanic skills, you just want to set up a workshop, it's also possible. But uh, to actually start a business from scratch, to say that you have to uh, assess a business and require, uh, employ people, skilled people that will work for you, I think 7,000 US dollars is not, is not enough. Um, more especially for somebody who's moving, who's transitioning from another country, like from America to go to Africa, there'll be a lot of things for your personal needs, uh, accommodation, food that you are going to need. So these are things that are going to make it life very difficult. So you will need to have enough money. I would say more or less, if you are having uh, somewhere around, uh, let's, let's say about 15,000 US dollars, you could be able to start a business and uh, accommodate yourself in the same place. But 7,000 US dollars, I think it's a little bit small. It will stretch you. Like I've always been saying that um, when you're coming to Africa and you want to start a business, uh, don't come and start assessing what type of business you would like to um, start. But first of all, you should be seeing, looking at yourself and see what skills do you have and uh, well, can you go to Africa and uh, use those skills and you'll be able to benefit with those skills. And uh, I also talked about the people who are coming to Africa very early, like coming to, Mal to Africa now or to come to Malawi now. It's a good because when you come here, we haven't had a lot uh, any African Americans that have come to Malawi so far. I haven't heard of them. If they are, but I've never heard of them. But um, if you come here, your job will be to establish yourself and understand the system, how things work in Malawi, and then you can be um, a platform that will help other Americans that will be coming in the future to Malawi. So your business will be helping those people. You'll be providing them service. services like, for instance, if they want to come here and they want to know how to settle, you'll be taking them around to find accommodation, find the land, to buy land, uh, the process of buying the land. So they'll pay you for those services. Um, also, for example, you can have an accommodation where they will be, you will host them when they come here, you will transport them, you have a transport system that will transport them. So what you can do is you can be arranging groups of people to come at one time. And then also you will be able to help them with the, how does it work with the immigration processes and stuff like that, so that um, they, they, when they come, they don't have to struggle. I think many of the people are not looking into that area uh, where they, they can be like, offering this type of services to make life easier for the other people that's there. Because all I hear most of the time is complaining about how things are working in Africa. I think that these people, they are experiencing these problems because they come alone. Uh, you know, like for instance, if I want to go to Gambia and uh, try to start a business there, I need to go there and find somebody who is already there who can help me to go around and see how I can, I, can, I can get paperwork and all that stuff. But for me to just go there and find my way, I'll find a lot of problems, I'll find a lot of issues. So some people from the um, black Americans who can come here, they can be the people that will be helping the others to start a business in that kind of life. So yeah, but um, 7,000 US dollars is not a lot of money for you to start a business. You can start a small business, but then your profits will be very small. And also it takes time in Africa for a business to get uh, established. It will take almost three, four years before your business starts bearing uh, fruit. So it will be uh, a, a bit of a hassle. Yes, with 7,000 you can get land, you can buy good land, uh, to, uh, maybe build a small structure for you to be staying there, but you won't be left with any other money for you to continue with your business. So uh, if you are coming here, you should be looking at having at least 15,000 
US dollars. There is a lot of opportunities, more especially in the service industry. If you are a mechanic, if you are an American and you are a mechanic, you know how to fix cars, I would say come to Malawi. Because most of the people, when they do the jobs here, they're not giving you 100% good job. They don't give you guarantee, you don't have any warranties, and you are not even having a comfort that you say that my car is going to be fixed. The same thing with also in other areas where you, you that need servicing, like uh, um, maybe maintenance of um, t t televisions and uh, fridges and all those kind of things. There is a good business in those areas also. Yeah, so I will be coming up and uh, explaining more on on how to, you can establish yourself. And please keep on asking questions so that I can be touching some of the subjects. Uh, thank you.